A fun show in the night sky will happen very early Friday morning, and you have the chance to see it if you set that alarm. I think a lot of people remember the total solar eclipse last year, which there was lots of excitement for. Tonight, totally different beast. So this time, the moon is the real main attraction. What is normally a full moon in the sky will have its light blocked as the, air, as the moon passes into the air's shadow, and we'll really have a great display of a cool event overhead. When we speak about total lunar eclipses, you often hear the term blood moon, which may sound pretty ominous, but it actually has to do with the appearance of the moon during totality. When you think that the moon is in that dark part of the Earth's shadow, you think it would just be black. But the Earth, thankfully, has an atmosphere. And our atmosphere around our planet acts like a big prism. Light from the sun gets refracted and bent into that dark umbra, giving it that muddy red hue. This eclipse is for everyone to see. No special glasses are required, but the alarm may need to be set at a pretty brutal time to view totality. The main event will be right around 2 o'clock in the St. Louis area. The partial phases will start just after midnight and run into the early morning hours. But if you're only going out once, right around that 2 o'clock hour, 158 in St. Louis is the main event. Unlike total solar eclipses, the lunar eclipses are much more frequent, and the path of totality is much larger given how big the Earth is in comparison to the moon. The nice thing about lunar eclipses is that whenever they happen, roughly half the planet gets to see it. So tonight, all of North and South America will get to see this event. And on average, you get to experience a lunar eclipse roughly every two, two and a half years. Reporting at the Planetarium in Forest Park, meteorologist Haley Fitzpatrick, Fox 2 News.